your LAs and maybe some bio 120 students. So I just want to go over how to use Google Calendar. So this is my Google Calendar that you can see. I love Google Calendar, so it's all color coded. So the first thing we're going to go over is how to subscribe to a calendar. So for this one, you should have gotten an email from your instructor and you'll just click add to calendar. So once you do that, your calendar should reload and it will appear on the bottom left hand column. I'm hoping you can see my cursor. If not, it just popped up on the bottom left and you can choose to have that show up when it's checked or disappear. So when I check it, it shows that I have an 8 a.m. how to get your Zoom as long as in, you're in your at csp.edu. You can just click join meeting. The other big thing I want to cover is how to add an event and how to repeat that event. So on Monday nights this year will be study night. This is a night where you can come ask any of your questions, tech related, class related, or how to study that kind of stuff. So that'll be happening at seven. So you'll just click anywhere in your Google Calendar. And I always click more options because I would like to fill it in for the whole screen. So I'll just add a title. I'm going to say Science Study Nights. So these will be happening from 7 to 8.30 and they'll be every Monday. So what you want to do is click down from the does not repeat to custom. I want it to repeat every Monday and then I want it to end December 7th and then click done. You can add guests. I also like to change the color because my Google Calendar is color coordinated. And then all you have to do is click save. So now it will appear every Monday at that time. The other thing that's really important that you want to be able to do is subscribe to other calendars. So say you want to make a meeting with your specific instructor. So what you do is you'll click that plus, which is add more calendars. You'll click subscribe to a new calendar. So for my section, Kate, Professor Kate is um, who I'll be working with. So I found her email. I just click yes, and it says calendar added. So I will go back, click that back arrow, and now I can see where she is. It looks like she doesn't have too many meetings in, so let's look at Harrison's. So there you go. It shows where he's busy. So times outside of that, I can go through and add meetings to their calendar. You can also do this with your LA if you need to catch up with them for any of that. So I think that's going to cover all of our Google Calendar basics. If you have any questions at all, reach out to your LA. If you're in LA, you can reach out to me via Slack. Good luck, everyone.